This conference will now be recorded. All right, it's week three, day three already, you guys. Full body strength. And so we're just going to start the warm up. So a nice walk in place or a jog. Start to pick that up a little bit. You want to be light on your toes. Bring it up to high knees. So try to bring those knees as high as you can. You can slow it down if you need. So bringing those knees up either at a slower pace or hop it up. All right, bring it back down a little bit. Just to that jog or a little walk in place. And then we're gonna pick it back up, but now we're gonna bring heels to butt. Okay, slower option. Quicker. So butt kicks. Bring it back down, slow it down to that jog. We're gonna step it out wide. We're going to step over one side and bring the heel to the butt from here. Bring it narrow. Bring one knee to your chest. Okay, step it wide, heel to butt. Bring it in, one knee in. Let's add the arms, so up and pull. Okay, stay narrow, but not feet together. Couple squats, narrow, down and up. And step it wide, couple squats wide. Doing either four or five. One more, step it in, narrow. Down and all the way up. Step it wide. Okay, now we're gonna pick that up a little bit. So one narrow, one wide. So step it in, narrow, wide. Narrow, wide. Or you can hop it if you wanna pick it up even more. Or you're just stepping it in. Four more, so one more wide, one narrow, wide, narrow. Good job, you guys. We're gonna step it back, reverse lunge, and we're gonna rotate towards that front knee. Reverse lunge, and rotate. Dropping that back knee, keeping my core strong. Chest open. So you're alternating that reverse lunge and back up to standing. Let's do one more each side. All right, come down to the ground into your side plank position. If you're just joining, you guys, we're still warming up. So take it easy, maybe drop that bottom knee. Hips come up and we're reaching it through. Back up nice and easy. Core activation, so a nice strong side plank position, whether that's on your knee or up on your toes. Two more on this side. Flip it over, switch sides. 
Find the same side plank position. Hips come up, reach it through and up. Try to keep your gaze in front and forward. Little rotation, keep your hips high. Two more. All right, you guys, grab a quick drink. Here we go. So here's the plan. Our first two exercises are a squat and press and a high plank with the reach. We're either doing it for 14 reps or 45 seconds and we have three rounds. So squat and press is 14 reps. High plank with the reach is for a dur duration of 45 seconds. So grab your object. So if you have that kitchen pot, you're gonna do the squat and press or you have light to medium weights. And then you can use one of your weights or the kitchen pot to put out in front of you at when we plank and reach. All right, so we have three rounds. Starting with squat and press. So you have two objects. Maybe you have that kitchen pot. We're gonna bring them up to your chin. Okay, so I don't want you to put them on your shoulders. So hold them, actively hold them out in front of you. Nice squat position. Here we go. Down, stand and press. We have 14, two. Wait till my heels when I squat down. Stand and press, six, seven. Eight, nine, nice strong core, flat back, 10. So four more. Last one, stand and press. Good. All right, have that object out a little further away than you think. Come on down to the ground. Get ready for high planks. This is 45 seconds. So from your high plank, you're gonna reach that object, alternating your arms out. As many times as you can in 45 seconds. Get ready, you guys. Find your high planks. Remember, knees or toes, go. So high plank, and you wanna reach for that object out front. Bringing your hands back right underneath your shoulders. If you're on your knees, see how my butt is down, not up. Okay, so drop it down. Everybody has a nice flat back. We have 15 seconds, you guys. So strong planks. Reach one arm out in front. Try not to shift your weight. As you switch hands, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to those knees. And quick rest, quick drink. Come on back up for squat and press. All right, so 14, squat and press, and then we have 45 seconds for high plank reaches. All right, so nice, strong, athletic stance, slight bend in the knees. Your objects or weight is up at your shoulders and chin. Here we go, down and up, stand and press. One, two, Three, squeezing your quads when you stand up. Five, six, keeping the weights off your shoulders. Eight, nine, four more. Here we go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
13 and 14. All right, set that object down out in front. Whew. Nice deep breath. Quick drink when you guys need. All right, 45 seconds, high plank. Knees or toes, and you're reaching out for that object. Get ready in three, two, one, go. So we're not shifting our weight when we lift one hand up. So keep your hip bones down to the ground. Bringing your hands and wrists right back underneath your shoulders. Gaze is down. And you're really reaching out. So you're not just tapping here. Reach out, tap. Nice job, you guys. 15 seconds to go. Pull the plank if you need. Drop down your knees if you need to take a quick rest, but come back up. Work in your breath. Three, two, one, and rest. Drop to your knees. Whew. One more time, you guys. Nice work. So quick drink. Back to squat and press. Take a deep breath. All right, squat down, pick up your weights. Weights stay at your shoulder height. Off your shoulders. 14 reps. Are you ready? Ready or not? Here we go. Down and up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Strong core. Belly's in. Halfway. Seven to go. Nine. Weights in my heels as I squat. Stand and press. Twelve. Thirteen. And last one. For fourteen. All right, one weight, set it down out in front. Come on down to the ground. 45 seconds, we get about a minute rest until we start the next two. All right, get into your planks. 45 seconds in three, two, one, go. Reaching it out. So if you need to spread your feet out for a wider base of support, it's easier than when you're narrow. So spread it out. Reaching out in front. Nice job, you guys. Halfway. Strong cores. Keeping your gaze down. Breathe, you guys. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop to those knees. If you want, sit it back in child's pose. Take a deep breath here. And then come on back up. About a minute rest, and then we start the next two exercises. All right. So keep your objects around. You want to go a little lighter this time. All right, so the next two, we have a lateral lunge with the fly. So two lighter objects, 
and then wood choppers with one light to medium objects. 14 reps, lateral lunges with the fly, 45 seconds of wood choppers. All right, you guys, so lateral lunge with the fly. This can be done without weights. So you're gonna lunge to the side when you're low. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back and fly. Come back up to standing, and then you're gonna go out to the other side and fly. And then we have wood choppers. So we'll start with the 14 reps of lateral lunges. Grab your light objects. We're counting every side. So step it over to one side, hinging at the hips, flat back, and fly Come back to standing. Other side. Here we go, that's two, back to standing. Flat back, fly it up, three, four, back to standing, other side. Five, six, seven more to go. Lunge it over, weights in that outside heel. Here's nine, here's 10, four more. 11, 12, last two, 13, and 14, back to standing. Okay, you can keep one light weight or go a little heavier. And so wood choppers, we're gonna do um, the whole time for 45 seconds. So you're gonna go to one side for half. So reaching it down and then halfway through, we'll switch. So 45 seconds total. Get ready in three, two, one, go. So down on the side, up and over. Little squat, reach it up. So the heavier weight, the harder it's gonna be. All right, switch sides. Go in the other direction. Little squat, up and over. Kind of like you're chucking something over your shoulder. 45 seconds total. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, quick break, quick drink. Back to lateral lunges. Okay, light objects or weights. Give yourself that shoulder roll, so keep your shoulders back. Shoulder blades are engaged. It helps you keep a nice, strong, flat back for when you hinge, okay? So don't wanna let things go. So keep it all engaged. Here we go, lunging to the first side, and then we slide when we're low. Lunge it out, add that fly. There's three, four, keep that core engaged, five, six, halfway, seven, Eight, nine, over to the other side for 10. 11, weights in that outside heel right here. 12, last two. One more, back to 
standing. All right, set one down. Or swap out for a heavier weight. Or you have your kitchen pot. All right, deep breath. Spread those feet. 45 seconds total in three, two, one, go. Little squat up and over, same direction. I am rotating my back toe, my back foot to come up to my toe. Nice job, you guys. Let's do one more on this side and then we'll switch. Okay, switch sides. We're halfway. Little squat down, up and over. Nice, strong core, you guys, here. We want to protect that low back. Three, two, one, done. All right, one more. Time through, about a minute rest. Oh, sorry, not yet. Not, no minute rest yet. <laughs> Quick break though, and grab your light weights. All right, last round. So deep breath, shoulder roll, strong core, bellies are in. Here we go, lunge it out, and fly. Two, three, four. So fly it out and bring it back in to stand. All right, here's seven. So seven more to go. Lunge it out. Toes stay forward the whole time. All right, We're almost there. I think, <laughs> lost count. I think we have two more. Back to standing, finish up for 14 total. All right, keep one weight. Okay, wider stance. Okay, 45 seconds total, three, two, one, go. Little squat, reach it up. Nice flat back, don't truck it over. So keep it controlled. All right, switch sides, other direction. Down and up with the little rotation. Reaching the weight on the outside leg. Three, two, one, finish up and rest. All right, now we get at least a minute rest. Quick drink. And we're moving on, you guys. Bring over your chairs if they're not close. So we have step ups and we're adding a glute kickback this time. And we're also stepping up on the same leg continuously for 14 times and then we switch. So the other week we alternated. And then we have a crunch and press. So 45 second crunch and press and then 14 each leg or step ups. This time, you guys, we're pretty much halfway through already. So bring or have your chair close. Chair, table, the higher it is, the harder it's going to be. So here's your demonstration first. Okay, you're gonna start with your first leg up on the chair. 
step up and then your other leg is that glute kick back. And then you're gonna come down and you're not gonna take that off, okay? If you wanna make that even more challenging, you just tap your bottom leg down so you don't fully come and rest. Okay, you guys, so first leg up. We're doing 14 each leg. We're pushing through that heel to stand and not so much off our back toe. All right, stand, one, kick it out. So you can tap it down or take that full rest, two, three. So if you keep the tension on your leg, it's going to make it more challenging. Five, six, Seven, don't forget that glute squeeze at the top. Eight. Nine. We're doing 14, you guys, each leg. 10. Step it up. 11. 12. Two more on this side. 13. And 14. Whew. All right, walk it out if you need. Switch legs. Same thing. So again, if you keep that constant tension down here and just tap your toe, it's going to be harder than taking that full rest when you put your weight on that bottom leg. Here we go. Step up. Boot squeeze. One. Two, three, a little bit of balance work here, four, so if you want your arms out, wherever, wherever feels comfortable, six, don't arch your back to kick, okay, squeeze that glute, halfway, seven more, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, we're almost there, twelve, thirteen, last one, good squeeze at the top, and rest, Woo. all right, come on down to the ground, and have one weight or object. The heavier it is, the harder it's going to be. Okay, we have crunch and press. So we're gonna have our feet flat, we're lying on our backs, your weight or object stays up at your chin, we roll it back, and then when we crunch up, <clears throat> we overhead press. So 45 seconds, Try to keep those feet flat. They can roll back a little bit when you go back. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Crunch it up and overhead press. So we're just doing it for time. It doesn't matter how many reps you do. Just make sure you're pulling and controlling with your core. So that belly's in. Okay, you're not yanking your neck up. Everything comes from your abdominals. 15 seconds. Okay, crunch it up, add that press. Five, four, three, two, one, and finish up at the top and set that down. All right, quick break. As we come on up, and we're already back to step ups. And if you guys want to make step ups even more challenging, you can hold weights in your hands. Okay, so that is another option. All right, so same leg stays up on top. So let's start shoulder roll so we know that our chest is open. We have a nice flat back, strong core. 
And when we stand, we're gonna kick it back for a glute squeeze. 14 each leg, here we go. One. Little tap down. Two. You're pushing with your heel on the chair to stand, you guys, not your back toe. Four. Five. Balance. Six. Seven. We're kind of keeping constant tension on that leg. Eight. Nine. Can you just come down and tap? Ten. Eleven. Two more, you guys. Little tap at the bottom, all the way to standing at the top. Good, and switch after 14 on that leg. Other heel is up. Nice deep breath. Here we go. We'll kick back at the top. Two. Three, all the way to standing, four, five, six, seven, try to just tap, come on up, eight, nine, pushing through that front heel, right guys? Not your back toe, four more. Here's 12. 13. And finish up after 14. Step down. Whew. Grab your weight or object, come on down to the ground. Feet flat, crunch and press. 45 seconds, keeping your weight up at your chin the whole time until you crunch up and add that press. Get ready, three, two, one, go. So keep it controlled. Try to keep your heels down. Doesn't matter how many you do. Crunch up and press. Roll it back, keep it controlled. So I'm pulling right here through my core. So tell those muscles to work, you guys. 10 seconds. They're there, I promise. Five, four, three, two, one, and finish up with your press. Whew. Quick break, you guys, and then we got one more set. So quick water break if you need it. All right, if, if keeping one leg on the chair is a little too challenging for you, feel free to alternate. So right leg up and then left leg up, all right? It gives your legs a little bit more of a break than keeping that constant motion on the same muscles. Okay, so lots of variations. Get ready with your first leg up. You're either gonna alternate Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. Or we're gonna try to keep constant tension. Okay, here we go. We're stepping it up and then we're adding that kick back at the top. One, two, try to just tap it down if that same leg is up. Three, all the way to standing at the top. Four, five, Six, halfway, eight, tap it down, nine, try to keep 
all your strength on this top leg, pushing up. 11, 12, two more, and then we switch legs. Last one. All right, switch after 14. Whew, other leg comes on up. All right, so we're pushing through this heel. Not that back toe, okay? It's really hard to do it right. All right, step it up. Kick back one. Try to just tap that toe down. Two. Three. Work on that balance. Four. All the way to standing at the top. Six. Seven more to go. Eight. Nine. All the way up. Ten. Eleven. 12, last two, quick tap if you can, and kick it back, and rest after 14 each, get ready for crunch and press, so come on down, bring that one weight over, shoulder roll, so we want to keep our chest open, Okay, not closed. Bring those shoulder blades back. No rounding our back. So keep everything nice and tight and hold back. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Crunch it up and press. Okay, a little rounding at the bottom is okay as we come down here. But then pull those shoulders back and press. Belly button in. There's a lot to think about. Crunch up and press. 15 seconds to go. Crunch and press. Slowly and control down. Keeping that weight up. Five, four, three, two, one, finish at the top. Nice job, you guys. About one minute rest. And we have one more set of two to get through. How's everyone doing? Okay, here's the last two, and we have walking lunges, 14 total, or if you don't have the space, um, we're just gonna do reverse lunges. And then plank get-ups, 45 seconds. And that's with, I'll show you when I get out there, but we are gonna switch halfway on that. So if you don't have the space or it's very limited, maybe you're just gonna walk two and then turn around. Okay, oh, that's ideal if you can do that. Or if you don't even have that space, you're just gonna step it back, okay? Alternating. Okay, we have 14 total. So I'm gonna go two down, two back, so I stay in the view. Okay, so before you start, your perfect lunging position is weight in your front heel, so I can wiggle those toes, and my back toes. I'm just shooting straight down, you guys know that, okay? So one, two, so ideally if you can alternate your forward legs, three, four, five, Six, we're doing 14 total. Seven, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, last two, thirteen, and fourteen. Come on up. Whew, okay. Come on down. Okay, get ups. Do the best you guys can do, okay? These are hard. Take it slow. All right, we're gonna switch it halfway again. 45 seconds total. Get ready, high planks. Three, two, one, go. Drop it down. Same arm leads, back up. Try to push right up underneath your shoulders. Down, down, up, up. Okay, not shifting around. Nice job, you guys. We're close. Breathe and switch the leading arm. Last half here. Down, down, up, up. Squeezing your arm straight at the top. Five, four, Three, two, one, finish strong, down, down, up, up, and sit it back. Woo! Nice job, you guys. All right. A little longer of a break. Grab a drink. Okay, and we got one more little circuit to do to finish up. All right, last, so week one, we did, I think it was one, we did push-ups, and then we held a plank, and then we did squats, and then squat pulses, but this time we're doing it inverted. So we're gonna go through, and then we're gonna just go back. So after squat pulses, we go back to squats, after planks, then squats to planks, and then planks to push up. Really short break. And we do it again, up and down. We're trying for three times, okay? So this is it, you guys, last little circuit. So we have 10 push-ups, and then we're gonna hold a plank. And then we have 10 squats, and then we're gonna do squat pulses. And then right back to the 10 squats, then we're gonna hold the plank, and then right back into the 10 push-ups. So we're gonna go up, and then right back down. Up and down. All right, so come on down to the ground. Starting with push-ups. So if you wanna grab your chair, doing it incline, you can do it on the wall. That makes it a little bit easier. Or you're down on the ground on your knees. And then obviously up by your toes is a little harder. All right. So here we go, so high plank, push up position. Remember making your body into an arrow. Here we go, down and up, one, two, three. Try to bring your chest all the way down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Push it up and hold that plank. Okay, so maybe you were doing it a little bit slower, but when you're done with your 10 push-ups, hold your high plank, keep your gaze down, belly to spine, breathe. In and out. Wrists are right underneath your shoulders, have a nice flat back, and belly button is the spine. Hold it, you guys. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Last five. Four, three, two, one, step it in. Okay, bring it up, down and up. One, 10 squats, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Up, come on back down, no pulses. 
So you stay low, weight to my heels. Okay, we're pulsing here. Low, low, low. Woo! Nice job, you guys. After this, we go back to the 10 squats. So we do it in reverse. Stay low, keep pulsing. Weights set back in your heels. Come on, you guys. I know it's burning. It's burning for me. I know it's burning for you. Stay low, low, low. Last five, four, three, two, one. 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Down, high plank, hold it. So hold your high plank. Rest underneath your shoulders, flat back, belly in, breathe. We have a couple rounds of this, and then this is it. Hold it, you guys. Knees or toes, that's fine, but just straight arms, okay? High plank. Breathe, hold it, stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 push ups, down and up. One, two, elbows back. Three, four, you're on your knees or your toes, or you're at an incline. Seven, two more, nine, and 10. All right, short break. Because guess what? We have 10 push ups again. Okay, so now we start push-ups, plank, squat, squat pulses, and then go back down. All right, we're gonna try to do this three times. So this is the second time. All right, deep breath, here we go. Starting in your high plank, so you're up high. 10 push-ups, down and up, one, two, three, four, Five more, six, do it at your own pace if you need. Two more. All right, finish up your 10, and then high plank. So 10 push-ups into your high plank, holding. At high plank, you can spread your feet out. Widen that base of support, belly in. Come on, you guys, this is not easy. Drop to your knees if you need. Hold it up there. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it in. Okay, down and up. One, 10 squats. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, come up, stay low. Ten pulses. So we're at the end, and then we gotta go back down. Stay low, you guys. Flat back, chest is up and open, weights in my heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Whew. Nice job, you guys. Five. Four, three, two, one. Back to your squats. Ten of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High planks. Hold that plank. Gaze is down. You're squeezing your quads. So your knees are not bent. Really engage everything. Squeezing your quads. Extending at the knees. <sighs> Breathe. Nice job, you guys. We go right into those 10 push-ups. So if you need to drop your knees, get ready. Three, 
two, one, go. Come on, 10 of them. Finish strong. Three, four, five, six elbows back. Two more, nine, and 10. Oh, good job, you guys. Quick breather. And we got one more up, one more down. Because we gotta go back to those push-ups. All right. This is it. We start with push-ups and we finish with push-ups. All right, ready or not? Deep breath. High plank position. Here we go. Down and up. Ten of them. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And hold it up. Come on, you guys. Knees or toes, straight arm, high plank, hold it up. Extend at the elbow, so squeezing your triceps. You're gonna push through the ground, flat back, freeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Step it in, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, pulses, low. We got ten spots, a plank hold, and ten push-ups left. Come on, you guys. Stay low. Pulses, up and down, up and down, up and down. Breathe, belly's in. Come on, stay focused, don't give up. Stay with me. You're only gonna make yourself happier, healthier, fitter. Come on, more fit, whatever. I can't think, five, four, three, Two, one, ten squats. One, two, three, four, five more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that plank. Come on down. Breathe. Belly's in. So I don't want you guys to sink down, push up. Okay, so push your hands through the ground. So nice flat back, push up. Don't sink down, hold it up. We have 10 push ups to finish. Knees or toes. Keep holding that plank, breathe, breathe. In and out. Five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. To the back. Come up to those knees. Let's take a nice deep breath here. In and out. All right, you guys, nice work today. And next week starts the fourth week already.